Hey folks. So it's, uh, it's a pretty gorgeous day here in Toronto. And we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna do a special presentation. There's been something that's been on my mind for a little bit that I wanna talk to you about. And the reason I thought about this is uh, a few weeks ago we were at a middle school and I met a woman who was helping set up the Gay Straight Alliance clubs in middle school, which was awesome. And for me, I wish that we would have had that when I was in school. So in school, I was called disabled, I was called faggot, I was called gay, I was called nerd. And these are not nice words to call anyone because I spent my entire school career trying to fit in and trying to fit into this mold that society sets out for us. And I never could. And the more I tried, the more names I was called and the harder it was, whether it was the people that I was hanging out with, whether it was because I couldn't play sports or I didn't think I was good at sports in, in school. And we need to create this more inclusive community. The biggest lesson that I learned is that instead of trying to fit in, I actually just need to be myself and embrace who I am, every single part of me, and, and live those in and own those. And it's important for all of us to do that, even when it's hard. And creating those safe spaces like a Gay Straight Alliance Club or so many other clubs in schools, I think is the best way to start it. For me, being called all of those names, I never really felt like I had a safe space. I did with close friends, but in the world and in the community, I didn't really know where I fit in. And then when I came to Toronto and became a motivational speaker, that all changed. I found an incredible group of people that believed in the same things I did and that had similar experiences and that was working to create a more inclusive world for everyone, whether that was breaking the cycle of poverty, whether that was making it more inclusive for, for everyone, folks with disabilities, LGBTQ, and that we were all collectively working to create that safe space, just like those programs are in the schools that I witnessed a couple weeks ago. And that's what I'm trying to do, is to create that safe space and know that for those of you that, have, that are being called those names today, know that I know what that felt like and that safe space exists and they're out there. And that if you're not sure, I'm one of those people that's working hard to create that space. So keep coming back to these videos and watching, because we're gonna keep talking about some of these issues as we continue on this incredible journey. Now, behind me, we are in Toronto in one of my favorite parks, legitimately. It's called Riverdale Park, and behind me is Riverdale Farm. In the middle of the city, we got cows. I gotta go, I got cows. Those that are too young, that's from the movie Twister. Look, Leah! Wait, there's a famous person about to cross yeah. the video. Yeah, where is she? Come on, Leah. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram. Yeah. At Hugs Leah. Where's your car? Next, we're headed to the Eaton Center here in Toronto, Canada. One of the things I love about Toronto in particular is that it's super diverse and multicultural. I grew up in Rock Springs, Wyoming, which is sort of the north-ish west area of the United States, and where I live is the southwest corner. And although it was an awesome city to grow up in, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for me as an individual. So the thing I love about Toronto, why I was excited to move here, lots of opportunity for someone like me, and super diverse, so I always feel like I fit in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So close. Yeah. Have you ever hit yourself with the door? Not yet. I've been close. I've had to like run, but no. I've got it, I've got it trained to a science. Trained? Yeah. Down. Down to a science. So we're, well, we're coming to the Eaton Center because I wanted to show the Eaton Center, but we also, Jake and I need things here. I need, we're going down. Oh, we're still going down? Yeah. Come back in. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. We did all we could. That was kind of weird. Yeah. Um, so I need to get some lotion called Sympathy for the Skin because it's really good for your achy muscles. Jake, I don't know what you need. Oh, you need shoes. I need running shoes. Shoes, okay. So 
So we went into Lush looking for my favorite lotion, which is Sympathy for the Skin, and they use like crushed bananas and vanilla and a whole bunch of other stuff. It smells like ice cream. You definitely want to eat it when you wear it. But it's good for like your muscles when they're sore. I think I've talked about this before. However, we went to get some today, and the thing that I love slash hate, but mostly love, is all their stuff is ethically sourced. So a lot of times they don't have the product because they're trying to find ethical vanilla or some of the other ingredients. So none today. I'll we'll have to try back. So we had to stop so that Spencer wouldn't get pulled over for texting and driving. That's a real thing. So the thing about the Eaton Center is you really have to know where you're going and, and what you're doing here because there's all these elevators and sometimes people are on the elevators that don't need to be there. So it takes forever to get anywhere. So you have to know all the shortcuts like there's a great elevator in H&M that you can use. Or there's an elevator here but if you go at the other end of the mall there's another elevator there that sometimes is faster and doesn't have as many people. So it's really important to know what you're doing here because it's all on three levels. I love this place but it can be hard to get around. I grab this. Boom. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> yeah. Go for one. The elevator that never ends. Exactly. Look at this. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> How are you? Good. What's your name? Eric. Eric, nice to meet you. Three, two, one. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh my, my pleasure, gosh, man. I can't believe I met you in real life. Oh. <laughs> We're on a mission to find Jake some running shoes. Listen, this is not an experience that I have very often. <laughs> Shopping for shoes. And we were half successful. Yeah, one out of two ain't bad. I got my shoes. Yeah. Some smart looking shoes. All right. And that's the end of the day. That ends our presentation and our adventure at the Eaton Center. One out of two things, Jake got his shoes. Really good, he's giving us a thumbs up. As always, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Bye. <laughs>